are working for equality. This is a concept that we need to work on together. We face a number of challenges in the inequality issue on the field of technology, for instance. Nowadays, countries have specialized in international trade, some sell raw material or commodities while others sell technologies. Many of the crises we have lived in our planet are due to prices or the famous uh, deterioration of the terms of exchange. This is a problem that we live at the current time and the key countries that are developed are those that have industrial capacity, technological development, and the countries that are struggling for development are characterized by the exploitation of commodities. Nevertheless, based on the experience of my country, Peru, I can point out that there are important issues worth highlighting, such as discussing the nature of the state. The state should be present throughout the entire territory, not just in the main cities of the country. Secondly, the task of building infrastructure. This is of the utmost importance, and it is a never-ending task of the state. It enables us to bring opportunities to the, the populations that live in the urban areas, in rural areas, and in the outskirts. Education and health are key pillars. These are very life concepts, and the future of our nations will depend on the drive governments give on education and health. It is for this reason that in this struggle, not for freedom, but now for equality, my administration is working on the concept of social inclusion. This is a concept that leads us to offer opportunities to all men and women, particularly those who are further away from the center or main cities, and I'm particularly referring to the rural areas. It is in this sense that on the one hand, we need to know as an administration how to properly manage our natural resources. On the other hand, we need to establish policies that bring about sustainable development, friendly with the environment, and in this regard, the capacity of human resources turns out to be of the utmost importance. What we're doing at home is increasing half a percentage point of our investment in education. We are creating and have created the National Scholarship System. We are working on improving the skills of teachers. The teachers are key in helping us to overcome our difficulties and look into the future positively.